This is the Adimalt Zifrex. It's quite a large, bulky adding machine, but it's fairly simple. Functionally, it's very similar to the Adi 7 or the uh, Triumph Theta Kleinadia machine. But internally, the mechanism is more similar to the Resulta. Both of those are much smaller machines than this one. So this one was made by Adimult. It was made in around 1957. It has a serial number at the bottom, 10,275. Uh, but that doesn't mean that there were 10,000 of these made. I think only about 2,000 probably. And it says made in Western Germany. The uh, factory where this was made was in uh, Bad Harzburg, which is close to the border with East Germany. And I think it was only made in around 1956 till 1958, not much longer than that. The way it works is fairly simple. It's, uh, it has these levers, and if you pull on them, the number you've set becomes visible in this input display register at the bottom. It has seven digits for the seven levers. But as you set the levers, the number also immediately gets added to the main register, which is an eight-digit res register right here. Once you've added a number, you can press this big button on the front, and that releases the levers, and uh, so then you can add another number. As you can see, the uh, the uh, main register uh, carries, as you would expect. Uh, these levers uh, they lock in position. But uh, if you've moved it too far, you can move it backwards, but then you have to push it down. You have to push the button down and then you can move it back uh, a few steps. To clear the main register, you have this uh, clearing knob on the side. You have to turn that uh, one full rotation until it clicks. You can also subtract and that's what this lever is for. This changes the mode of operation from addition to subtraction. And unfortunately, you now no longer can read the the main register. Internally, the the mechanism moves about so that now, when you pull the levers, the number you've entered gets subtracted from the main register, but you can't really see it. You can only see it when you put it back on onto uh, addition, and then you see the result here. The way it works is that uh, normally the main register is driven through intermediate wheels, uh, it's wheels in between the, uh, the toothed segments of these input levers, and uh, yeah, when you switch to uh, subtraction, the register moves up against the uh, input uh, lever tooth segments and the intermediate wheels move out of the way. So then they're driven directly and they move in the opposite direction as before. And uh, yes, that's uh, pretty much all there is to say about the Adimalt Zifrex. The, uh, the only thing really uh, 
I know is that uh, yeah, Addy Mold used to make uh, slide adders, and this kind of machine seems to be not really in their normal style, as it were. And it's not really known who designed this. I haven't been able to find any patents for it. And it is actually quite possible that it was made in uh, a factory of some third party and that Adimalt had the exclusive rights to sell it under their brand name. So that was the Adimalt Zifrex. Thank you for watching.